the barbell bench press versus the incline bench press. That is a question that I hear asked a lot. I get asked a lot, which I think is interesting that I'm a strength and powerlifting coach and people will still ask me that. Um, but hey, everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and I'm going to talk to you guys about this today. So obviously, obviously, uh, because it's a competition lift, I'm biased towards the bench press. But let's look at this objectively. Uh, you know, people want you to choose between these two lifts. And here's the one thing I would ask people who are asking this, because they're generally asking from a hypertrophy perspective. Uh, not a power lifting perspective or they wouldn't be asking but uh, or they're looking at it from a uh, sports perspective what's going to make me stronger what's going to better carry over to a sport and the funny part is here's the thing I would ask people how many of you out there only do one exercise your entire life for a muscle group who are concerned about hypertrophy I mean seriously how many of you do that? Not many. That would be extremely, extremely, ridiculously, mind-bogglingly rare. Right? I mean, how many people only do a dumbbell row for their biceps? See where I'm going with that? Or only a chin-up, and that's the only bicep exercise they do. That's insane. Nobody, nobody does that. Okay, a few people might. So they're talking usually chest or hopefully upper body development because these are both very, very big exercises that we can move a lot of weight on. They work multiple muscle groups. So when you look at it, though, uh, they complement each other extremely well. All right. And I'll get to that part in a minute. But if you think about just the overall size and strength, obviously the bench press should be slightly better. A little more muscle involved, we can usually move more weight. And when you get someone who says, well, I move just as much weight on the incline, well, I can tell you that you're very, very biased in your training then because it's not normal. In other words, if you trained both, if you trained both, you would be stronger on the flat bench. So the only way that happened is if a person did two years of nothing but incline benching and didn't touch a flat bench at all. Because I can tell you right now, if someone had never flat benched, and let's say they built their incline up to, you know, 225 or five reps, and I have them start bench pressing, their bench press will pass their incline within a matter of weeks. So it's, it's ridiculous. Obviously, we should be able to move more weight. A little more lower chest involved, a little more total muscle involved. However, that muscle, there's some bias with it. Okay, there's some bias with it. Uh, we know the flat bench works triceps a little bit more than incline does. By we, I mean people who read studies. All right, people who look at the research. And it's not that the incline's a bad tricep exercise. It's just that the flat bench is a better tricep exercise. Flat bench works a little more lower chest. Incline bench works a little more upper chest. Incline bench works a little more delt. Now, we can argue about the side delts all we want. We know it works the front delt a little more than the bench. Um, I know lifters who've kind of noticed that when they start doing real pause rep work on the incline, they get an entire delt pump. They've even seen growth in their side delts. I don't mean just novices. So is it a better delt exercise in the bench? You bet. So if we're gonna look at it from, from these different perspectives, what do they bring to the table? All right, uh, flat bench, probably a little more total muscle, particularly the lower half of the chest, the triceps. Bigger, bigger exercise, contributes a little more to overall strength. Right? It, is, it is the king of upper body builders, you know, barring back movements. It's got a reputation for a reason, and it does work. And it's not just because it's powerlifting. 
There's plenty of research on it. It's a phenomenal upper body builder. Okay, incline bench. Slightly different bias in those muscles. Well, what happens if you combine them together? You're working all those muscles from two slightly different angles. Means a little more potential for complete development. Well, that's, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. What is it I've said many times? What's the best exercise for a muscle? Glute ham raises? Okay. Setting aside glute ham raises for hamstrings. The best exercise for a muscle is to pick two really good exercises and train both of them. Because two really good exercises will always give more potential for development in a muscle than finding the quote-unquote best exercise and only doing that one. It's always going to have slightly more potential. So, you know, people will look at these and say, well, which of these two should I do? How about both? If you're looking for two presses to do, big presses to do for your chest, This is a great combination. You don't need to pick. But people are like, but I also want to do dumbbells. Well, do you, do you really need them? You could always add dumbbells to your flat benching. The second exercise in different phases when you're not working the incline. These movements combine together. They combine together extremely well for size. Okay. They're also pretty safe because you're not dealing with any awkwardness of dumbbells. Usually do them in safety racks or with spotters. All right? Easy to microload. They're great. They work great together. Incidentally, the incline bench fixes one of the most common weak links in the flat bench for a little more advanced lifters. A lot of times, especially if my lifters are sticking right in the middle on their bench, either on their last rep on a work set or uh, on their maxes, and they get strong at the incline bench, guess what? They get better at blasting through that sticking point. Okay, the incline bench complements the flat bench extremely well. It helps round it out better. It helps fill in a little bit of the weak links in the same muscles. Okay, so these are two exercises that if you combine them together, it's a very effective combination. So it's not a case of either or. Now the strength coach in me will always be biased towards the flat bench as a primary. Okay, it, it, it's just how it's going to be. But as far as adding a second lift to it, the incline bench is an absolute powerhouse. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I'll talk to you guys next time.